Google AdSense Payment BPI How to add your BPI account as your new Google AdSense Payment method So ngayon, nandito na ako sa Google AdSense account ko and nandito na ako sa payment section So ang bala ko ngayon gawin is i-add yung BPI account ko as new bank account na makaka-receive ng payment from Google AdSense. And actually, meron na kaming ginawang longer video about this. Uh, diniscuss namin yung um, iba't ibang banks na eligible for payment sa Google AdSense. And chinek na rin natin kung uh, magkano yung possible charges per bank account. So, you may click this link na nasa taas to check that detailed video. Pero sa video na ito, ang gagawin lang natin is yung step-by-step -step guide on how to add your BPI account sa Google AdSense Payment. And take note lang na ang ilalagay nating account dito is yung BPI Regular Savings Account. Kung meron kayong uh, same account na yon, eligible na yon for international wire transfer. Pero mas magandang i-double check ninyo sa bank kung eligible ba yung account nyo to receive uh, remittances or international wire transfer. So, ito yung Google AdSense account ko. And nandito na ako sa payment section. So, gamit ko ngayon yung computer ko. Sa inyo, pwede nyo rin naman gamitin yung cellphone ninyo. Basta punta lang kayo sa Google AdSense na account ninyo and proceed sa payment section. And click nyo tong uh, Manage Payment Methods. So, I'll click Add Payment Method. So, i-click ko tong Add New Wire Transfer Details. And may mga hinihing information dito like beneficiary ID, optional lang naman to, name of bank account, bank name, SWIFT, BIC, at yung codes, account number dun sa bank account na yon. So for beneficiary ID, optional lang naman to, so hindi ko nalalagyan ng info. For name on bank account, syempre ilalagay ko dito kung sino yung owner ng bank account na yon. And then for bank name, um, actually, ang ilalagay ko nitong bank is yung BPI. So, napapaisip ako, ilalagay ko ba is BPI lang or Bank of Philippine Islands? Actually, sinerge ko yung Swift Code Philippines and marami dito ang lumabas. So, inopen ko siya isa-isa. And for BPI, um, normally ganito yung ina-enter nila. So, i-copy ko to. Same with uh, Money Max, ganun din yung pagkakalagay niya or pagkaka-enter niya dito. Well, for the SwiftCode.com Philippines, Bank of the Philippine Islands lang yung nilagay niya. Pero sa akin, susundin ko na lang to since dalawa naman yung nakita ko may ganito. So, paste ko dito. So, for BPI, Bank of the Philippine Islands, ang nilagay ko. And then, for SWIFT BIC, so, i-copy ko lang ulit yung binigay sa akin. Copy. And by the way, for the full list or details about the SWIFT codes, itong mga to. Um, ilalagay ko yung mga links na to sa description sa baba. And also, ililista ko na rin to sa baba. And for account number, um, ilagay ko na rito yung account number sa BPI. And retype the account number. So, I suggest wag nyo siyang i-copy-paste para ma-make sure na tama yung nilalagay ninyo. Or, uh, let's say, hindi nag-match. At least, alam nyo may correction dapat nag and for intermediary bank or FFC or FBO, honestly, hindi ako ganun ka-familiar sa mga to. So, hindi na natin ito papakalaman. Um, I-check ko na lang itong set as primary method. And by the way, may mga possible questions kayo uh, kasi may nakalagay dito na to receive payouts by wire transfer, contact your bank for exchange rates and fees. Which is yun yung ginawa natin. Uh, Nag-check muna ako sa bank bago ko i-enter dito yung details na yun. And nakalagay dito na bank account must be located in the Philippines. Yes, located naman sa Philippines yung bank account ko. And in US dollar currency. Actually, hindi strictly na kailangan US dollar currency yung account mo. Kasi karamihan sa atin, peso account yung account natin sa mga bangko. And may napanood na akong ibang uh, YouTuber na gumawa ng video na in-enter nila yung peso account nila. And pumasok pa rin naman yung payment kahit hindi US dollar yung currency doon. And ang pinaka-importante dito is as long as kinonfirm ng bank kung saan kayo nag-open ang account na eligible for remittances yung account ninyo, I think good na na ilagay yung account number dito as payment method sa Google AdSense. So, check ko na to. So, ibig sabihin, uh, dito na dapat ako makaka-receive ng payment moving forward sa Google AdSense. And i-click ko na tong Save button. And kung mapapansin nyo, may primary na dito. So, Pwede ko pa rin naman itong ibalik sa Western Union. Pero ang gusto ko kasing mangyari is moving forward, dito na dapat makareceive ng payment sa BPI account na to. 
And for questions like naging successful ba yung payment nung in-enter ko na yung BPI account ko, um, ito yung nangyari after a few days. Nag-reflect na nga yung payment sa BPI account na in-enter ko dito sa Google AdSense. So, wala naman naging issue. Naging successful or na-receive ko ng maayos yung payment from Google AdSense to BPI account. And that's it. Sana nakatulong tong video na to. Please let us know by clicking the like button. And kung may naisip pa yung questions or topics na tingin nyo pwede namin i-share online, please let us know by providing a comment below. And this is Lou from Invest Library. Until next time, bye-bye!